Hey all, this is Kasakma Keparu from New World Dimensions, and today I want to talk to you about a very important subject matter, um, which I'm titling this video, How to Overcome Racism. Now we know racism is a very terrible thing, um, but before I get into the actual way that we can address this and overcome it, I want to first talk about what is racism, because I think we don't have a proper understanding of its origin. Now, contrary to popular belief, racism is not just some organic concept that sprang forth um, years and years ago, and it's gotten all these groups of people to act in consensus, operating off the same agenda, um, basically organically and naturally. It is not that at all. In fact, racism is a constructed concept. It is synthetic. It was fabricated specifically for the purposes of oppressing a group of people to pave the way for global domination. If you read um, a book I put out a, a while ago, which talks about specifically um, how it was generated, why it was created, and how we can deal with it, you'll understand a little bit more about that. You can also watch a video I created on um, the origins of racism. But let's talk now about how we can address this. Now, we live in a reality that's agreed upon consensus, meaning that we all are having an experience that we all agree to have. Therefore, reality is constructed in a certain way to facilitate um, that scenario, that reality. However, in conjunction with that, we each individually live in our own constructed reality for the purposes of living out our destiny, our incarnation objective, to learn something from this experience so that the Supreme Being can understand itself better. So you have kind of like two different forms of reality that's going on. The general consensus that we all agree to have, which is that experience, and the individual reality that we're experiencing. In the individual reality, we are constructing um, basically simulations of one another uh, based on an agreement so we can interact with each other. So I'm interacting with people in my reality who agreed to have that same experience, but they're not real people per se, they're just simulations of those people that I created. And that's a deep concept, so <laughs> keep following me now. So if you understand that, and you also take this a bit further, we understand that um, reality exists with the expectation of the observer. So the more you look and expect to see something, the more it will manifest. So they've done scientific studies where scientists have gotten a result based on their own expectations and ideas. And this is contrary to what we thought would be happening. We thought that the results of any independent study would be, of course, independent of our own belief system, but it's not, which shows you that we live in a world, a reality, that we are constantly projecting and creating out of our own thoughts, actions, and beliefs, very deep. With that in mind, then we understand the bigger picture that we all have agreed to have an experience called racism, but on an individual level, our realities can be changed to accommodate our belief system. So it means that how much racism affects you to a certain degree can depend on your incarnation objective, why you came to earth here, uh, what you came to earth here to learn, and also um, how you choose to experience that. Because you're constantly manifesting this reality. Every time you turn a certain direction, you look a certain way, you are creating that version of this hologram. Everything you're creating, um, because you're a participant in this reality, you're not just an observer and the world around you is objective and was created by some supreme being and you have no say in it. No, you're actively creating the world around you like a gigantic video game or gigantic um, holodeck in Star Trek, a simulation. So taking it again a step further, if we understand that um, what we're experiencing in our own personal lives in terms of racism is a projection of um, our feelings and thoughts, then we understand that we can control to a degree how we experience that in this lifetime. Now the problem that we get into is, is kind of like a thought loop. We start to take into account that racism is very self-defeating, it's difficult, it has caused um, widespread devastation on the planet, um, causing thousands and thousands of people or hundreds of thousands of people to lose their lives due to you know, slavery, um, due to oppression, and you know, all of the above. But we have to also understand that if we continue to think in that pattern, it's going to create this loop where we're constantly manifesting that reality versus us taking ourselves out of that matrix, out of that thought pattern, to redefine how we're going to experience something and redefine how we're going to react to something. 
once you redefine, and here's the key, how you react to something, the universe has no choice but to project a different reality. You understand? See, the universe is reacting to what you want. However, in order to do that, your energy vibration, who you are, has to first change. You can't wish it changes. You can't think it can change. You have to feel it on a very fundamental level within your person, your physical being, that it changes and it doesn't affect you and that the world is going to be different. When you start to do that, then the universe will, what I call, is ping you. It will respond to your thoughts and definitions and then start manifesting a new paradigm, a new reality. And therefore, you take yourself out of the thought loop of racism is oppressive, it's damaging, and you start to see things and experience things in a totally different way because you move outside of that reality into a new paradigm, a new reality think about that it's a wonderful notion but we have to get out of the thought loop all the matrix that we've created for ourselves about how racism will impact us true i'm not saying racism is not a bitch it is kicking the hell out of people on this planet it has caused so much trouble and devastation and it was created by an elite um group that was bent on global domination but aside from that, we know that no one's denying that racism is, is a horrible thing and we need to address those who are responsible for it. But to the degree of which it can affect you and for you to exert your own personal power that God has given you to reshape the reality that's going around you, it's all up to you. You have that power. So um, change the paradigm by changing your belief system and your feelings and you'll find that we can address this thing we call racism and bring those to justice. This is Kasankh Ma Keparu for New World Dimensions, and that's all for now.